Good morning, everyone. I am very excited to share with you um, more about the Math for Success online classroom learning that Sean and I will be showcasing this coming Wednesday, uh, October 11th from 7 to 8 p.m. It's not too late, too late to register if you are interested and Shauna has provided you a link to be able to do this. So those of you who have registered, I'm, ex I'm very much looking forward to uh, having you take part in that and I hope to see and hope to see more registrations as well. I'm going to start uh, by sharing with you what the objectives of this online classroom learning is as well as what is included in it and then just a little bit more on prices and costs and there will be a registration after this webinar if you are interested in joining. So let me start with the course objectives. What, what the objectives are in this course are going to be understand curriculum content, understand how the curriculum progresses from kindergarten to grade six. I think it's really, really important that we don't, we can't only just understand what we are teaching at that level, but also where have they come from and where are they going to. And I've heard this from many other mathematicians that do presentations just like me and, and agree with that. We also have to be able to unpack our own mathematical knowledge of concepts, understand how to teach for students to develop number sense, conceptual understanding, and procedural fluency. Learn many strategies and or number routines to help Dell develop number sense. An online classroom chats with other teachers, which provides opportunity for collaboration. We want to also learn and understand mathematical mathematical vocabulary and the importance of using the right vocabulary correctly. Reflect on instruction, delivery methods through videos and sharing. Understand how students work, oral, written, and hands-on guides instruction. Opportunity to either read or listen to research, whether it's books or art articles, and understand how to infuse it into your classroom for student learning. Help build your confidence and ignite your passion for teaching mathematics. What is going to be included in this online classroom? Well, we're going to look at classroom video clips. We're going to, uh, you'll have an art chance to hopefully read articles that if you are subscribed to the NCTM or I will share with you through audio files uh, the, what those articles are about and give you ideas and book talks about all the research that I've read because I read and read and read and read and read. There will be some freebies which will, will include printables or some slideshows, activities, short instructional videos. We'll look at webinars to help develop understanding and we can look at different concepts uh, that I choose or maybe perhaps that you as my, my students want and we can provide that. I will be alongside of you to provide feedback, modifications, adaptations and clarifications. I love to do face to face and still will do that but then I don't go back with you in your classroom and sometimes you come up with questions so within this online a classroom, the power of technology allows, allows me to be there with you all the time or pretty much all the time. The opportunity to look at student work, whether it's a written sample, a picture, a video of using manipulatives or an oral answer in order to understand their thinking, which then in turn helps guide your teaching. We're looking at guiding questions. What will the next step be? Sometimes we get, we're not sure about what those need to be. Online chatting with your colleagues to share fumbles and successes to help one another learn and grow. Well, what will this online classroom look like? What kind of courses will I have? What's the breakdown and what's the timeline to give you an idea? And I'm going to start off for the first two weeks will be module one, which is curriculum. I want to help you understand what your students need to learn, not only at the grade level you teach, but also to help you understand where students came from and where they have to go. We're looking for approximately two weeks and you will need approximately two hours, which is an hour a week. And I do believe that that's reasonable uh, timeline to ask you for in your busy schedules. And what I'm also going to do within each of these modules is I'm going to give basic that's the basic uh, work to be done in those two hours, but I'm also going to differentiate like I do for students and allow for extensions uh, to challenge you or, or to push you a little bit if you're interested in that. Coming next after the curriculum is the module two, which is pop-up, a number routine. 
something else that I have been reading a lot about, and I've done these for years, but I didn't realize that in research, they call them number routines, and that's through pop-up math. How to engage children in mathematics in a fun number routine, which increases their communication skills it, through mathematics and also develops number sense in the learning of skills, knowledge, and concepts. That timeline we're, we're, we're looking at about a week and asking for about an hour of your time. Again, we can do the basics and much more can come from that uh, through extensions and, and challenges for you. There's one more module that we that I have worked on right now. Of course, there will be more, but that's module three, and that will be calendar. In the kindergarten through grade six math for success teacher guidebooks, the first piece in the daily routine is calendar. You will understand how to enrich your calendar time to develop number sense and integrate other skills, knowledge, and concepts. And this one's really interesting for me because I was talking to a a vice principal and a teacher of 30 years who says, you know, I know that calendar can provide such rich learning. And yes, it can, but, and that's what I want to help you with, uh, to be able to do that. What timeline are we looking at that? We're looking at two weeks as well as two hours. And again, the basics and then how those extensions and how to enrich that even further if you're looking for that. There's going to be more modules to come in the new year. I'll be looking at a module for the school day piece, the weather and temperature piece, stats and probability, patterning, shape and measurement, uh, fraction. Well, there's much more learning that's going to be infused. I have so many ideas, and my goal is to provide you with as much opportunity to learn and grow in an exponential way. We will look at money and operations and subitizing and hundreds chart and number line and geometry and time. And the list goes on and on. And I promise to give my absolute best in sharing my own expertise to help you and your students not only improve in the area of mathematics, but to grow in seeing the beauty and creativity in mathematics. And I, I consider myself to be a mathematician and an expertise of that knowledge, but I also don't know everything. I don't have all the answers, and, and I know I'm going to also learn from you, which I'm excited about. And if we, we can learn together, and if I don't know something, I am going to make sure that I, I dig deep into research or, or call on some of my own resources that I'm connecting with through uh, people through Twitter and all kinds of things. So I will find those answers for you. Please, I ask you to take advantage of this online learning opportunity and let's learn and work together to change the culture of how mathematics is taught and viewed. I love Christina Tondeboy's mantra, and if you're looking for more on her, you can find her at mathematicallyminded.com. She says, if not me, then who? She says, what we tend to do is go, oh, okay, I, won't, I may not get it this year, or it's hard, or I can't get through to the kids, or, uh, and oh, it's, it can be the next year's teacher. And then the next year's teacher says, oh, it'll be the next year's teacher. And, and we really have to, we have to say to ourselves that at every level, or it's me, it's me who has to do it. I've got to take that responsibility, and it's a big job, but it's also a huge rewarding job to I see those kids love math and do well in math. And you may fumble, you may fall, but together we can encourage and support one another and make a much needed change. And I'm going to go back to Joe Bowler. I've read her book, Mathematic Mathematically Mindset, and she talks about that growth mindset, not a fixed mindset. If you adopt Christina's mantra and are willing to put in the time and effort, I guarantee you will develop that growth mindset for yourself and your students. Remember, I will be right there alongside of you. If you don't do it now, then when? Take advantage of the low price that's being offered because this is an absolute low, low cost for the month of November and December. And that's going to be a monthly cost of $50 per individual. If you have a minimum of five staff members, you will get a 10% discount on the total sum of $250 per month. As of January 1st, the monthly cost will be $200 monthly or $2,000 yearly. If you require a payment plan option, we will be more than happy to provide you that if needed. A yearly cost for a minimum of five staff members would be $1,600 per individual, and yes, GST will be added to these prices. Thoughts regarding costs? 
You may think of these prices as expensive, but when you consider all that is included as well as the time required to create it all, the cost is more than reasonable. I have been on many, many websites and in contact with others who do the same work as I do, whether it's throughout Alberta or Canada or in the States and who have similar credentials. I am actually, and I'm going to put in the word that I missed, very inexpensive. But here is what I'm going to add as well. When I think of my work, my work is rich. And I think I forgot that. And my knowledge is rich. And my expertise is rich. And is valuable and, be and beneficial. So once again, if not you, then who? We're also going to look at a new Facebook group. There will be a Facebook group exclusive for all of those who register in this online classroom. We're going to use this group for sharing experiences, pictures, and video. My goal of this group is to build a collaborative team who encourage and support one another. And in this group, I, I will hope that we all take on a growth mindset along with Christina Tondevoy's mantra, if not me, then who? Again, I will encourage you. I will ask you, is this worth it? Is, is, is the investment worth it? Are our children worth this investment? to make this necessary change, to help you uh, grow in your knowledge and your skill and your uh, passion in teaching mathematics. So if you're interested, uh, take the time to visit us and be with us. We'll be hosting a live webinar on October 11th from 7 o'clock to 8 p.m. If you have any questions, please email me or you can call me at 403-556-3678. Thank you very much, and I am hoping that this online classroom is full of willing and ready participants. Have a great day.